Hey, John, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing very well. How nice. are you? How are you holding up uh, in this current landscape? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I don't I'm learning to say craziness because that kind of incites, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of anxiety for me. True. True. Yeah. So I just I, like how how what are you doing? How are you holding up? You know, what are you doing to be positive? <laughs> I, I'm learning a lot about download speeds and upload speeds and Zooms and Chimes and Instagram <laughs> Lives, which I really have not done a lot of. Oh, so, really? Yes. What's Chime? Chime is like Amazon's thing. So everybody who's doing shows or things for Amazon has to use Chime, apparently. That's, why? I, that's yeah. the one. I haven't heard of that one. It's true. Um, it's true. Have you... Uh, have you gained any new habits or have, <laughs> what, have, what have you discovered about yourself during this time <laughs> well um we've been potty training my little girl she's oh. really good she might come in here and tell me she needs to go oh, that's uh, potty at some point but that just you know we've trained her to do that so i guess that's a good thing oh. um i've learned you know milano cookies those mint versions are amazing i don't know if you've had those in a while yeah, but they I are can eat a whole insane. bag yeah, <laughs> I haven't had it since I was like 10. And and I did eat a whole bag. So oh, that's good. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I love, uh, I, I love wearing long johns. It's just very easy. Because they almost look like pants. You can literally walk around like and people are like, well, I, th I think those are pants. Well, um, a, a while back, I bought these, uh, these pants or these jeans, they look like jeans from Uniqlo. But yeah. they fit like uh, um, uh, uh, sweats. So oh. that's what I've been wearing. <laughs> See, you're, you're smart. You got those. Yeah, like, yes. uh, there's an elastic and everything. But, you know, nice. you you are currently uh, uh, the EP and you directed the first episode of yeah. uh, Home Before Dark, um, which a lot of, you know, th right there, Home Before Dark. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if it's like, Inside out or the right side no, way in, in the way it's, Instagram it's does it. I see it as reverse, but oh, you know, I don't know how it, to it, switch it. Fine. But no, it, it says home before dark. <laughs> home before dark. So <laughs> this is a it's a very interesting story, you know. And as a journalist, it's kind of like, oh, oh damn, why didn't I think of that when I was her age? But <laughs> um, <laughs> but when when was the first time you heard of Hilda's story? Is it Hil Hilda 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 Hilda? Yes. When did you hear hear her story for the first time? Um, I heard her story maybe three or four years ago, and I remember just reading about it in um, in uh, uh, in like the newspaper, right? yeah, CNN yeah. or something like that. And uh, it was fascinating because she was a nine-year-old journalist who broke this story in her hometown, scooped her local paper. People were pissed about it. Uh, kids made fun of her, and she yeah. didn't back down. She um, made a video where she like read people's mean comments um, and she kept writing. And I just loved her uh, sort of bravery and courage and all of that. And I just, it just clocked in my brain. And it wasn't until years later where uh, Joy Gorman from Anonymous and, and, and Dana Fox and, and, and Dara Resnick who created the show came to me. Uh, and, and, and their, so, their sort of messaging was the importance of truth, the importance mm. of reporting, the truth yeah. uh, the importance of journalism through this little girl who really exists. And I love, I love that the, the you know the, the children are here to save us. Uh, uh, having a little girl myself, and I just she had just been born when they came to me at first, um, and so navigating as a father, uh, what to teach my little girl, what the world I want to paint for her, um, how I want her to be seen and her to see everything else, uh, it was just weighing on me. And so to use that relationship, and in the show, um, Jim Sturgis plays uh, uh, Brooklyn Prince, who plays Hildy, um, who's amazing. Uh, Jim Sturgis plays her father, Matt, um, and their relationship is really interesting because her father is uh, an ex-journalist who sort of mm. was sort of turned off by journalism um, and uh, after doing some uh, another report. And uh, so she sort of brings him back to the fold and sort of is there to uh, help him and, and save the family too. So while it's a fun mystery and binge-worthy mystery, it's actually... Um, also a, a portrait of a, of a of a family. So I loved all those dynamics sort of all fit really well together. Yeah, it, it's, it, it is an interesting story because I honestly, like I, I knew kind of the surface of the story, like of, of the series. Yeah. And I, I really kind of encourage people to like kind of go in with as little knowledge as possible. You know, yeah. you know the real story, but then you see what's going on. And 
But how did you, you know, you say it's a story about kind of there's, it's like couched in truth and this like, yeah, yeah. The truth, truth. And there's this, uh, there, there is very much a kind of this like Nancy Jew kind of feeling about it. Yeah. It still feels very young, but also, you know, mature. Um, yeah. But how did you, you know, you directed the first episode. How mm -hmm. did you approach this story without you kind of, like balancing that, you know, cause this has to be for kids, but at the same time, you know, yeah. adults need to also, you know, be, you know, see the story. Yeah, I, um, so I directed the first two episodes and it's the first time I had to, you know, yeah. sort of, that I've worked on a project where a, a nine-year-old girl is the lead mm -hmm. um, and, and, and a lot of the cast is young. Um, so I didn't know how it would go. My first day was um, a giant food fight with like oh, 200 little kids <laughs> and they were throwing things at each other. You don't know how to stop that, by the way. Mm, and there's yeah. mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and hot dogs. You just don't want to get someone hurt either by yeah. all that. So it was a lot. Um, and again, I was also a new father so, and I'm the youngest of five kids. So I never had mm. to take care of anybody. I could yeah. be very selfish and take care of myself. But this one I had to you know, <laughs> watch all of these kids. But actually the key to this tone ultimately was through when you actually meet Hildy and her father and her father talks to her like a real uh, adult, um, mm. respects her, doesn't talk down to her. Um, when we talk to Hildy herself, she doesn't play like a little kid. She, she, she uh, things in her life are, are very serious and real. And mm. when you meet Brooklyn Prince, who was there really only one actor uh, in the world who could be nine years old and, and carry that um, gravitas, if you can call it that, um, without uh, being sort of, preciously precocious or or sort of yeah. silly in that um she is she brooklyn is an amazing actor uh, there's so much truth that comes through if you saw a uh, florida project she's a little girl yeah. in that she's and amazing she, in that she is in she's amazing and when you work with her as a director it is inspiring to hear how she wants to portray a character or how she wants to understand a situation it's very much like a real child of okay. describing she doesn't want to just say words she has to understand why is Hildy frustrated? What does Hildy want? Um, and that really helps because when you watch her in the scene um, and her and, and Jim are, uh, are sort of riffing, those are real moments and every take mm -hmm. is different from the next. And so I was really impressed by her and, and I think she really drives the tone, uh, her and, and Jim and Abby and all these other uh, characters and actors who are in our show because they are not playing it up. They are playing mm -hmm. uh, a real family that's messy. It's not yeah. storybook. It's, um, it's complicated, it's messy. The truth is complicated. Like you can have facts and then you can have people who want to know the facts and people who don't want to know the facts and nobody is, nobody is safe from that. Um, yeah. You know, when you go to your house, there are secrets of your family uh, that people don't want to talk about. And it is a legitimate debate whether you want to bring up those things or not and have to deal with them. And in this family, we just get to see an example of how uh, uh, you know the scariest monsters aren't the aren't the things that you know aren't actual monsters. They're, they're mm. the, the the lies that are kept um, just below the surface. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's so interesting you talk about you know precociousness of you know child actors or just you know especially with Brooklyn. Like yeah, I'll, I'll admit with a lot of child actors, this could easily fall into this uh, uh, um, this trope of oh the precocious you know scrappy young kid. Yeah. But, the way she plays it is pretty amazing. Like, I'll admit that I, I could get annoyed with, you know, very, very precocious kids on yeah. in, in on TV. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but Brooklyn does, she, it, I was just like, oh, okay, I'm invested in her. She's like carrying this show and it's kind yeah. of, it, it, it's pretty amazing. And yeah. it, it, it has like, it's like, it's dark, but it does, it's not like, oh, oh God, like so depressing dark, but yeah, you're yeah. on this journey with her and it, it, it's just pretty uh, uh, amazing. And you have you ever seen her, have you ever seen her Critics' Choice Award acceptance speech? Yes. It's <laughs> yes. so good. It'll bring you to tears every time. And uh -huh. she is that girl. She, that is yeah. not a act. That is not a thing. And, and watching how her parents interact with her, how much they respect her and the way they speak to her, it just, um, it also shows the importance of a show like this, that yeah. um, young people, we teach young kids to not lie. 
Um, and yet we lie to kids more than anybody. Um, and so there is a, and we, that, <laughs> trust me, we talk about every day. And you build your child the way you want, you wanted the world to be. Um, and at some point it changes. And, 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 and so it's almost a reflection of yourself or your own fears and your own mm -hmm. child. And so it makes you face these things uh, very, like, you know, uh, very abruptly in your face and you got to deal with it. And so I just think that that is um, a beautiful message that, uh, that we get to almost have a look into our past. And uh, what would you say? Have you ever seen, did you ever see that uh, show on, on Disney Plus where it's like um, the high schoolers go back uh, the old uh, oh, older um, generation go back to high school. It's with uh, Kristen, Kristen Bell. Bell. Kristen I don't remember Bell what it's is, called. It's, they they they, re, they perform their old like senior class high school show. musical. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but they yeah, have yeah, this yeah. one section that is really a, the, probably the best part of the whole show is where they they sit. Now they're like forty years old and they're in their gymnasium where they perform the show back in the day and they they can't sing anymore. They you know or it's been a while, so they all sit and they think about the hallways of this high school. They're like, imagine yourself there. Imagine yourself what you feared that day, what you were happy about, what made you happy. And you say it, they say it out loud. And what would you ask yourself now? Or what would you say to yourself, you know, at 40 years old? And now you're 40 years old. And now what would you say to that kid in that hallway? And the yeah. things that they say is so emotional and like you want to protect yourself. Like it's gonna get better, don't worry. Yeah. Like forget about those people, they're all idiots. You know, all the things you wanna say. In a weird way, when in this father-daughter relationship in Home Before Dark, it, um, we play a lot of that. It's a reflection of, of, of yourself um, that you have to confront. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think, and then you mentioned, you know, in, in real life, uh, Hildy, she read those comments about, mm -hmm. you know, that were like kind of degrading her, insulting her. Yeah. And then, you know, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the show, you know, she, you know, you just talked about she steps on the a table in the cafeteria, reads the yeah. comment. Yeah. And it's so funny that day, or when I was watching it, that day, you know, being a journalist and getting tweets, and I'm sure you get a lot of comments too. Yeah. Get, you see comments on the articles I write and I was like, oh, oh, she's like owning it. And yeah. it, 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 in this weird cheesy way, I, I, I have a cold heart. So it like, <laughs> I, was just like okay. oh, I, I was just like, oh, oh, I was like, oh, she owns it. And that's like kind mm -hmm. of a way to, to navigate through that. And you know, th this show, and like you said, it's about truth. And we are in a time, especially how we are, the landscape is right now where truth is paramount and you know yeah. people can't argue with the truth and a lot of people confuse um uh opinion and take that as fact and yeah. i think uh this show and through the eyes of this little girl it's like oh you know the children are our future <laughs> <laughs> but no it, 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 I think it's true the way the show did that yeah yeah i mean i i i, I think about activists um, young activists um, now, from Greta uh, to Malala, um, mm. and 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 these young women who you know usually in movies or TV shows they're treated as like oh look at that little girl how cute they're talked down to and 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 they're the ones who are our future and they're the ones who can change things and so uh, Brooklyn in her own right in her real life is like that and Hildy uh, are are so to have those two represent that idea. I just think is an important message. And, and since I did Crazy Rich Asians uh, years ago, a couple of years ago now, crazy to think, <laughs> but <to> um, <laughs> you know, my life changed in terms of the type of things I want to make. Um, I really realized that uh, I'm very privileged to have this opportunity to be able to make movies and to mm. uh, tell stories on, and, 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 and give access to a lot of people to see it. Um, and so why not make stuff that only I can make or only we have a responsibility to make that's also entertaining? Because of course, mm. everything uh, is still entertainment, but um, deep down there's, there's something that we're, we're exposing or revealing and, or sharing with the audience that you know, you're not alone in your yeah. loneliness, you're not alone in your struggles because life is it is messy yeah, um yeah, and that's yeah, okay yeah and you know you know like uh before i let you go um you know i i, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about you know crazy rich Age. you have a lot of mm -hmm. things coming up you know 
everyone's yes. like, oh, what's going on with the sequel? Uh, yes. <laughs> and, you know, yes. You know, and then, you know, but before that, even you have In the Heights, which, you know, coming out soon. And that trailer alone kind of sparked this kind of lit this fire in everyone because it's so inspiring. We bear, we haven't seen a, a Latinx narrative told in a long time in film. Mm -hmm. You know, you have mm -hmm. Crazy Rich Asian. And, and the upcoming sequel. Um, so, what, 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 how can, what can you speak on the sequel? My daughter's and... joining us. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. She to say hi. Hi. This is Willow. Hi. Oh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> she's getting potty trained, so she's she's she so she's you know being very responsible right You're now. You're doing a great job. What's your name? <laughs> she can't hear you right now, but Willow. Her name is Willow. Willow. Say Willow. Hi. Willow. Hi. But um, when she gets embarrassed, she talks like a baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but with um, yeah. But what's the, you know, what's the status on Crazy Rich Asians too? If there anything you could say, like, and you know, yeah. what are you looking for with in in the Heights? Like, what do you hope in the Heights brings to the table? Well, um, Crazy Rich Asians we're working on. We're figuring out that script now. Um, you know, it has to be great, and I'm not going to bring everyone back. Uh, unless we can top ourselves and has yeah. a great message. And so we're working on that. That takes time. Uh, in the Heights, you know, we are almost, uh, we were very close to being done before all this craziness happened. Willow, you love In the Heights, right? You know all the songs, all the music? <laughs> this is what happens, guys. This is what happens. I'm jealous you um, gotta watch it. <laughs> she's watched it many times. She was on set. She learned the dances. Oh. She learned, uh, she, she's friends with the actors so she calls them her friends when she sees them we watched it last night so you know um no i'm uh, i'm really excited for that if you think that the trailer uh was was uh sort of eye-opening wait until you see the movie i i get moved by it every time we watch it and and it's not anything i did it's it's a it's a tradition of this show that has this dna that when people come together and make it it creates this family this beautiful i don't know Again, I'm just sort of a steward of it in a weird way yeah. of, of reflecting. I'm not from that community. I'm not from Washington Heights, but uh, I, I could see my family in that. I could yeah. see, you know, when their abuela, my uh, boo-boo, my, all these things like are uh, a part of it. The food, the, um, and immigrant uh, culture coming into America and, and, and then a new generation trying to figure out what their, uh, what their place is. Um, and obviously the music is amazing. And so, and we have a, an amazing cast. Anthony Ramos is a oh, yeah. freaking star. <laughs> yeah, uh, Leslie is. Grace, Melissa Barrera, Corey Hawkins. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this group is insane and I can't wait for the world to see it. It's just pure joy. And I think yeah. after, Willow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I think after this movie, um, well, after this sort of uh, pandemic, I think people will only enjoy it more and more. Like this one right here, who <laughs> just loves to sing all of a sudden. <laughs> but, uh, but um, you know, thank you. You know, and then like I know I've joked before. Like Je me and Jenny Amato talked about. Yes. I, I think I joked about like having a step up film festival, and yes. I am still wanting to do some because. I will watch the fuck out of any Step Up movie. <laughs> <laughs> From the beginning until like, you know, until all, even like the series, I'm just like, you know, I, I, I we're, we're, me and Jen are gonna plan something and we hope that you're all right. all <laughs> We just had an Instagram live with one of uh, Kid David, who's, who's in Step Up three and four and five. And he <laughs> got all, he texted all of us and we all came on. Um, and everyone danced. It was amazing. And so you gotta do something like that. It was really cool to see everybody. It's my first movie, Step Up Two. So for real. I, and I, like... I, and you, you never forget your first. And uh, <laughs> I'm still very close with many of them. Chris Scott, who is in that movie, choreographed mm -hmm. in the Heights uh, for me. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm Adam Savani, who plays Moose. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm neighbors with. I'm still very close oh, with him. Nice. Uh, so I've, I've seen him like. 15 feet away on the sidewalk when you walk past <laughs> during this uh, time. Uh, so yeah, we would, I, I think it would be really fun. Yeah, yeah. But you know, John, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk, you know, hopefully get to see you in person, you know, 
I don't know if we'll be shaking hands, bowing, elbow, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a, we'll do a little uh, a little b boy dance. Yeah, Luigi's yeah. here, who's also in the movie, uh, yeah. and uh, and he lives down the street too. He, we can all we can all have a battle. That'll be nice, fun. Nice. But you know, and then congratulations on this amazing show. You know, looking for the crazy rich Asians too. Uh, the Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> oh, uh, and, and also in the high. Actually, I do want to do another step up. I think I should. I'm gonna go to Adam uh, Shankman and be like, let's do one last one, uh, and do well, step yeah. up in space and just bring everybody. <laughs> let's bring The Rock. Yep. Let's bring yeah. Henry Golding. Let's bring Lin Manuel Miranda. It let's be like bring like the whole an epic group. crossover event. Like, yeah, it, and I say, like, like, forget the rules. Let's just, yes. aliens are attacking, and we have and the to only, combine. The only way you could defeat yeah. them is through dance. Yeah, movement. That's it. Energy, oh. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm all for I'm that. actually serious. I'm actually serious. We should do that. <laughs> no, I'm all for that. And I, I sign off. I will break the news on deadline today. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Shank was going to be like, what the heck are you doing, John? <laughs> but no, cool, man. Thank you so much for talking. You know, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Um, and just continue doing things for the community and just doing thank you. what you do. You too. Thank you for, for highlighting um, all the amazing creators out there. You are a warrior on the front lines. I just think, um, you know, I was talking to, just one last thing, I was talking to Lynn the other day about the Crazy Rich Asians experience. And I, and I said, the one thing that I did not realize was the ecosystem that comes with a movie. Like, I, of course, understand marketing, a movie, a project that I make and getting it out there. But what I loved about the Crazy Rich Asians experience, it was before the movie, it, this we had to make uh, stars of our actors. And so mm -hmm. uh, Henry, Constance, uh, Gemma, Aquafina, of course, like we had to get them into magazines, get them into uh, uh, do interviews, get the world to know them. Um, and it created this bubble of people. And then the movie came out and, and, and it was just like to see them then go off and do other movies um, and extend that power into other areas and tell uh, uh, different stories, more interesting stories, and take risks in other genres. Like there is an ecosystem within that. And also writers uh, mm -hmm. like yourself and, and journalists like yourself that then get the opportunities to write about the stories that, that have been weighing on them, using our movie as an example or as a sort of thing to, 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 to be able to talk about these issues, um, to talk about these controversies. Anything to me was like, such an eye-opening experience mm. and it brought up subject matter within the community and outside of the community that we had to talk about. And I just think that was one of the most beautiful things. So when we're talking about In the Heights, I'm like, we we're gonna introduce the world to this new generation of, of, of stars. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna create a lane for, uh, for this community in, in, the, in the same way and also writers and journalists to be able to talk about the things in context with something um, that is that the whole world beyond just this community is going to know and love. And I just think that making movies like that is just something uh, I had never known was even possible and has been such a joy. Um, yeah. And to be working with everybody um, out there to, to create that movement was just so amazing. Well, you know, that, that movie kind of sparked this thing within the community. And, you know, uh, I, I, when I interviewed Tai Ma for, for Tiger Tail, he, you know, he thanked yeah. me for writing his, this piece on him. And I yeah. think, I, I love that it, piece, by the way. Thank oh. you, thank, thank you so much. And I know Jen wrote a piece as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think with me, I, I, I was like, oh, I don't really, I, I mean, you guys do the heavy lifting and you guys do these stories and it's part of my job to frame that for everyone to see. It's like, it's your words and I just frame them. That's what, you know, so that's like, I mean, I think <laughs> we're all in this together. I mean, you know, we are. High school musical style. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's but the no, thing, it's like, like telling our story takes many perspectives and many ways to look at things. Mm -hmm. um, and it's okay to disagree. It's okay mm -hmm. to not have the, the answers yet. But the dialogue itself is important for us to figure those things out. Like we're at the beginning of this conversation um, yeah. and not just our community, many other communities. So uh, that it just, we're, like you said, <laughs> we're, we're all in this together. And, uh, and, and that's, and actually in this time where we, everything sort of stopped down, you only realize that more. Um, yeah. You know, seeing, seeing you talking with you again, um, it's just, it's nice, it's comfort, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I think, and especially with how our community is being treated in certain aspects right now. 100%. That, yeah, I think 
stuff like Tiger Tail is important, stuff like what mm -hmm. we're doing now, you know, and, you know, uh, and then like, I have, you know, you know, other lined, lined up guests in the future that we're going to have on. And I, I just want to put shine on the community to make it, you know, to give us strength and to give us comfort. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, John, thank you so much. Everyone watch Home Before Dark. One time I called it Home After Dark and that didn't make I know, sense. sometimes I've, right. done, I've done that. <laughs> that's a whole nother that's show. A, that's a different kind of show. That's on Netflix. Netflix <laughs> on that show. But, Apple does Home Before Dark, yeah. Home Before Dark, Apple TV Plus. It's on, uh, it's on there now. So everyone go watch it. John, thank you so much. And I hope to see you soon. Take care, man. Thank you. See you.